Here's a question from Dean. If a house gets shot up in a drive-by, who pays for repairs? Uh, yeah, that's a difficult one, and this actually has happened to me. Not, you know, through my property management company, but back when I was a real estate agent, and uh, I was actually doing a deal with a, a really great Philadelphia real estate agent, Ryan Kalensky, uh, a great guy, just a really likable guy, and a really good agent. Um, and this actually kind of reflected uh, how we handled it, and probably similar as how you would handle it with uh, with a rental property. So Ryan was was perfect and on point, and I think I was perfect and on point, so we got a result. So typically, I, that's a really tough one. Uh, so if, if a window is broken or uh, something along the lines of that, believe it or not, that would be a tenant expense. Uh, so if, you know, if, because we, we associate it potentially with tenant activity. So if someone decides to throw a pumpkin through, a uh, tenant's pumpkin through the window, uh, you know, that would be kind of a tenant related thing. Um, you know, a drive-by shooting that seems a little bit more random and, you know, unless you can somehow prove that the tenants were involved or brought this on themselves, um, I would very likely think of this as an owner expense, a landlord expense. Uh, now, um, you know, I would, the first thing I would do is absolutely always get a police report. That's paramount. Uh, you need to protect yourself. And also it's, it's a mechanism you'll use with an insurance company if need be. Uh, and hopefully the repairs are not that significant. Uh, often it's, in this case of this, they had uh, broken a window and, jeez, they somehow got into this condo. Um, they had buried a couple bullets uh, in the door. And a really nice luxury condo, too, by the way. Uh, buried a couple bullets in the property. Uh, and Ryan and I worked to get that resolved pretty quickly. Uh, but it wasn't super expensive. Um, so, but if it is significant damage, the property owner has insurance. If there is significant damage, you always have the tenant has insurance. And the beautiful thing about insurance and having the tenant have insurance is the insurance companies step in and they take over a lot of the effort for you. So your, you would contact your property insurance company and say, hey, I'm making a claim. I have a big giant bolt hole in the side of my wall. Uh, they will uh, take the energy to go after the tenant's insurance company and they'll work it out amongst themselves and kind of cut you out of it. Uh, so if the damage is significant, I would probably put in a claim. If it's not significant, it's just literally just plastering up a wall. I mean, yeah, it's funny to say, but a bullet doesn't take up a whole lot of, doesn't require a lot of plaster. Uh, but yeah, that's how I would probably handle it. All right, happy investing.